So the second one then, and uh, this one is about football. Um, as I announced, I to say I'm gonna gonna do another one, a second one, and see how far far we get here. With what I really would like to talk about, and and I'm, of course I would hope to get <laughs> plenty of uh, feedback and and. Yeah, and then start a discussion like that, and then hopefully, you know, I, I would like to, yeah, to to hear your opinion about what I'm saying, and but uh, usually it's it's not really the, all the points I'm bringing up here. You you rather sit back for a second and think about it, what I'm saying, because it's not really the the common uh, stuff that's been talked about, right? It's not the big talking points I'm picking up, but. Um, um, you know, and I've done that for over 53 years, as I'm saying now, and, and observing it, following it, and I was going to the grounds with my father, and, and so on. We, we had all those discussions, and we went through whatever, you know, and, and, and that was uh, in depth uh, somehow, but, but they, they, they might all say, and, and, and we say about Germany, there are about 40 million uh, national coaches. <laughs> Because everyone knows better than you we live, or anyone, the one in, the one in charge, the one in charge. They know better. They all know everything about football, and that's why Germany always win every cup. They are, they are, what are they doing? They are, they, they stole us, uh, <laughs> some <laughs> joy, uh, uh, regular joy that we deserve, or something like that. Anyway, uh, about football, yeah, I, I still think, you know, what I would like to, yeah, one thing to make sure, I really would, would like to, you know, make that um, survive or make that, you know, the, make that bigger, make it grow. And uh, I compare it to, uh, to a dinosaur egg and I say, you know, you, you, you can't destroy it, but why would you even try, right? You can't uh, break it down, right? Dinosaur I, egg, it's so big and you, you, you take it, whatever it is, right? You, you can't break it apart. But why would you even try and right? go and, and, and make it grow, right? And so this is a dinosaur egg. And um, for me, it's still, of course, it's the biggest game of all. I know there's American sports and I would, I, you know, at some point... Uh, uh, at least mention this, uh, that's something about this American sports, because they know how to, yeah, how to make this grow, right? The most beautiful game, I mean, it would be, and uh, that's why, how I learn it and what, what I still think about it, what it should be or could be, and, but it's not anymore, because it's an ugly game somehow, but, but it, uh, yeah, it's, and there's a misprint, this might be <coughs> the most beautiful game, yeah. Anyway, this so this is my starting point, right? So I want to, you know, I want to make it survive. I don't want to be critical and say bury it and um, put it to bed. It's it's uh, it's gone and over. No, no, no. I want it to live and grow and get better and better and more exciting. And yeah, this is all points I I would I would um, come up with uh, at some point. Football will always be there. This is what I'm saying. And this is not for the consistency of, of its rules, right? So I'm, I'm making all those misprints here. It's not for the con consistency of the rules. It is because it's so simple, right? It, you, you, anyone can, you know, if I would, you know, I'm, I'm in the mood right now, you know, there's a ball next to me and I go over and I, I, I kick it and, I, you know, anyone can do and I wouldn't do it with my hands because that is too simple. So you're going to use your foot and that, that's what, what they all do, right? So you go anywhere, you, you go to the beach, you go to the park, whatever. You got a ball, they all get excited about the ball, so you kick it. You don't take it in your hand because that's too simple. So you need some challenge, right? So this is why it's living and, 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 and in Europe or worldwide, but the Americans would instantly change the rules and that's what they've done in 1994. They tried everything to, to make it better, but the, the Europeans or the, the rest of the world, they would not listen. And, um, and um, so they think you can't, you, yeah, you, you must not change the rules because it's, only, it's so big. So if you change something, it might fall apart, right? But this is not the truth. You can do anything with the rules. It will always be there, right? Because this is by intuition. You see a ball, you kick against it. You, a small child even might take it in the hand in the first place, 
but next it would kick it with a foot, right? So you, this is why it's living, and not, and also you don't need any equipment than a ball. You don't need anything, right? You 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 just have your your feet, and you might have a shoe on it, but even if you, if you don't. Uh, like like uh, the one Brazilian that was a uh, gold scorer, Leandro, what was his name, in 1950 when, when they, I, I think, when, when was it, uh, when he, you know, Brazil won the World Cup and, or Uruguay did win it then. Anyway, he, he, he took his shoes off and he played barefooted, right? That was in a World Cup in, uh, you know, somewhere in the early days. And uh, so you don't even need the shoes, right? But... Um, uh, so it's not for the consistency. You, know, you could do anything with the rules and go change it completely. You won't kill the game. It will always be there. So this is one presumption or assumption that, I, that I'm making. And they're not talking about it. They're not arguing about it. They're not thinking about it, you can say, right? No, I'm, I'm you know, this, I just want to have some, you know, base, basic, uh, yeah, so some foothold somewhere. And because... Uh, and also to make sure in this, there is some different ideas here, things you did not hear before. So go on listening. You 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 might learn or yeah okay understand or you say it yourself. I don't care. It's it's just it, it maybe uh, just a bit different point point of view. So uh, when I when I talk about the rules, there's something wrong with the rules, obviously, and, and, and people they get they get angry about it, and 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 everyone. Uh, is getting angry about the rules and they say well this would happen anyway because you are supporter of a side and then you say oh they're, 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 that was a mistake against them that's why I'm angry but but it's not the truth it's not the truth I mean you, you are angry because there is an injustice in it and, and there is I mean I'm, I'm gonna explain this a bit better but anyway the, the, uh, what, what is one important um, uh, thing to note and notice about it it is you can't weigh out an injustice by another injustice, right? So you, if there is an injustice and the others are doing the same, they are both not happy, right? They are both not happy. You can't weigh it out. It may be, you know, you can't complain then or somehow or you can say, well, that doesn't affect the result or something like that, but you don't feel comfortable then, right? Uh, so injustice here, injustice there, they are both unhappy and any spectator and any fan, any supporter, and any, any neutral watcher, he will get angry or he will switch off, right? Because he says, I don't want to be annoyed, so I'm not going to watch it, right? So there's a, there's a big problem. And, okay, I'm, 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 you know, there are some more details about it, how this all clings together from my point of view, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm just mentioning now a couple of rules and, and I'm, I'm gonna point out what I think about it and okay okay so now I messed it up because I wanted to, to bring up that, that file beforehand and there is one so I have to look at I have to open this file sorry now but it's the three-point rule and there are some stats I, I got here and I have to um, uh, <clears throat> Oh, uh, this is here and it's here. I'm sorry, really, but you, you, you know, rather read over there or look at something. I'm gonna, you know, this is, I wrote a lot about football and there are many projects I started with that. And um, when in doubt, uh, rules, okay, do I put the uh, three-point rule? Okay, I wanted to open this one before and now I make a... Um, uh, okay, I can do it like this, and then, okay, this is in German, so you won't, but anyway, I, I, I wrote a lot about this, but here, the important thing would be, and this is again, my mouse flicking around here, because maybe, it's, um, so, uh, here I, I tried to bring up, you know, this is what you have to, now I'm talking about the three-point rule, why, why did you introduce it, who introduced it, what did they think and what did they hope for when they introduced it? Because something seemed to be wrong about the two points for, for a win and one point for a draw. Something seemed to be an annoying people and who knows? And, and they, had, they never defined any, any goals they wanted. So and here my, my, my file is messed up. But anyway, here I, I'm, I'm, I'm just recording this for, for a, a Bundesliga 1 just, just to make sure you, you know. 
this is um, before the, the rule had been introduced, right? This is the draw um, uh, percentage and this is the goal average. So what did, were, were they trying to, to achieve, right? So what was it about? Some more action and so on? What was it about? So in, in 1993, 90, before that was introduced, two points per, for a win, this was, those were the figures. And for the next three, three seasons, those were the figures. So what would you find out here? Draws had been for all those three years. I mean, I can, I can do more like that, but you won't get a get different result, right? This was a draw uh, portion, and this was the goal average. So afterwards, with the three points, there were more draws and some goals less. So, you, you know, what, what were they trying to do, right? More goals, more actions, didn't happen. Less draws, didn't happen. Why did they, no one checking this, right? I mean, I read something about it, but, but with a silly uh, comment on it. I was just checking this for, for three more years, a bit later, right? See, the, here the, the draws really were a bit lower, but there were uh, uh, less goals as well. Or fewer goals uh, and and um, okay so anyway wherever you look at it I mean you can say here some draws fewer draws and some fewer goals there is an there is an interaction between those two but that I that I could explain as well but uh, first of all you know if there are not more goals I mean you 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 what would you care about the draws right you you get uh, uh, fewer goals even with this rule or something else changed I don't know anyway it's the same for the second league so I just make make made a couple of checks you see here some more draws and some of them had been eliminated but le uh, fewer goals so anyway it's it's no right with two points 31 percent so a little less draws but also a little less goals and uh, also here in the 2015 the, the through 2017, no major change, just if anything, goals are going down, right? So, I mean, what were they trying to achieve? Who was checking it? What, what have they done it for? At least there was no effect from that, right? So I'm gonna make that small. And um, here, so why had it been introduced? I mean, you have to, uh, am I allowed to ask this question or they, they simply mess things, things up, right? We, we're going to stir it up and then see what's happening. We don't know what we want and what's coming out. And what I say, it's, it's an injustice already because imagine two teams, they, they just fight them to, to the end and, and they are a fair battle, right? And they, um, they, they, uh, they, they both give their best and all and all of them. Spectators are happy and happy, and it ends in a draw, two, two, three, three, whatever, and they both get one half a point. They lose because any winning team they get three, they get one, so they should have one and a half because that would be distributed three. But but uh, it's uh, why not two and one? That wouldn't change it. So uh, they they get both uh, robbed of or taken of half a point. They, they they that's gone to the maker. I don't know. It's 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 gone to the universe. Uh, this is unjust. I mean, they, they can do whatever they want to, right? They, they don't get this half point back, but for no good reason at all. And especially if there's no change in the, in the behavior. So, <sighs> mm. um, now I was, I was checking, you know, if you, if you start to understand this problem, first of all, then, 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 or you, you notice it and you think, why have they done it? And, and I'm, I'm checking it and nothing happened. So do I see more excitement? No, I don't. I mean, this is all so silly. And uh, uh, it's just, it's, it is unjust. It is just unjust. It is unjust. Um, and, and, and no effect, no other effect than that. And uh, I've tried to point out sometimes, you know, if two teams they knew they were going to be bottom half or close to relegation, then they might even exploit this by saying, okay, you're going to win your home game, we are going to win our home game, home game. Both of us have three points out of these two games, which is a fair, right, you know, one and a half points per game is very solid midfield, at least you, you might even go to Europe. With a one and a half like last season in Germany, you didn't even need uh, one and a half points, right? So uh, three, uh, two games, three points, they both have, and the others fight each other, and they end up with twice with a draw, so they have two points, all the contestants, 
And so we are happy, right? So there's some kind of manipulation with it. So if you start with an injustice, it's not just not an in, not purely an injustice. It's also an other side effect. And I think that had, did happen already, right? They are handing the three points to them. They get them back in the in the reverse match. Anyway, it's 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 not, so it's a silly idea. Nothing happening, but. Now we can instantly, you know, we abolish it. We say that's gone. We don't want it anymore. Nothing happening, so we abolish it. But why would you do it? I rather understand, first of all, what would you like to achieve? So maybe take a different step to doing so. Or understand people, what's happening and why is it happening, right? That's it's very helpful. So why are there not any more goals coming or fewer draws? So you would like to understand... Now I'm 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 working out three very decent reasons at least, and I could could make out a fourth. But I'm gonna get you into those three reasons. There are why the three point rule did not have any effect. So you need something else if you want to achieve something. What has to be defined first of all? But okay, so let's look at it. Three reasons there are. First one is they still do not want to lose, right? So if anyone, he's not losing, why would he, you know, you, 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 you can't, uh, this is uh, psychology, you can't force him to say, go forward, you gotta go forward, you get something extra you can gain. No, I'm, I'm, well, I'm pretty happy with what I got, you know, I'm not losing, we're even up with these teams, let them make with the rules whatever they want to, you know. We're not opening up our defensive, we don't want to lose, we're not opening up, right? We're not doing it. I mean, there, there, there is something at stake, okay, that might be useful, but, but it's, uh, you, you can't uh, tempt people to do so. It is also about the coaches, which you have to make sure you understand, right? But anyone that loses, he's in a mess. This is our world, okay, so this is also something I would like to fight. But if this is the case now, you don't want to lose, you can't afford to lose, you're gone. Players are sitting on the bench, coaches are being sacked. So they are not telling their players to go forward. If they would be asked afterwards, a coach would be asked afterwards, why did you go all men forward? You, you only lost the game. Yeah, but, but you, 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 you said you're going to get three points if you win, so we made a mathematical calculation. It pays. I, I gave away these, this game, we lost it, but we, we're going to win another one, so we got three points out of these two instead of two, because we would have if we had two draws. So we had three and one loss and one win, three points instead of two, but they still wouldn't tell their players, so stay behind, <laughs> cover up your goal and be happy with what you got. They wouldn't do it because they get sacked if they lose. They get silly questions and they get sacked. So why would they do it? They don't do it. People don't do it. That's psychology, very simple psychology. So it's not working. So silly, go away, this silly, silly rule. No one wants to lose. And you, when you see the goal average going down even, and the draws may go down as well by 1%, it doesn't matter, it's so meaningless. But, so, and this was not the intent, of course. The intention when inventing this rule, they wanted to see some attractive football. I guess they have to say that and put it down and say what you want to achieve. Now here is your results. Nothing happened, so go away, this doesn't help. Anyway, if you... Um, if you see the goal average going down, draws also going down. This is one simple reason. It is more precious than it has ever been before to hold on to this goal, extra goal you got. It's 1-0, so go ahead, all men, back and defend your 1-0. You don't want to, you know, three points you got, you can lose two if you concede a goal. It's not, if it's draw, you can win two by scoring. You hold on to the three points as soon as you're winning. You don't even want to make your fans happy. They are happy if you win, okay, because they know three points. They are not pushing you forward. They say, okay, go on, defend, and it's almost over, so ten more minutes, okay, hold on. Don't attack, please, <laughs> stay behind. And so this is why goal average is even going down, because you want to hold on to those three points. So even worse, the, the rule, right? It's, it's changing it to the negative. It's not going any better, it's getting worse. Because you want to hold on to those three points. They used to attack when it was 1-0 because they saw even if we concede, we'd only lose one point. Now you're gonna lose two points. 
You don't do that, so goal average going down, holding on to the win. And that's what we see. We see ugly 1-0 wins. That's all we see these days, right? And, and, and the, the simple psychology, I mean, this is maybe okay, a bit, uh, I don't know the, the term right now, I might think about it, but you don't want to wait. Anyway, if, uh, if it's 1-1, one, one, anyone could say, mathematically, the other one has to attack, because mathematically it's wise to attack, because you can only, you can win two and lose only one. But neither side would do. They would say, if they attack, okay, we're gonna uh, uh, take the space that is there, right? Anyway, forget about this. I mean, it's it's, it's not that important. But they, but but uh, they they both. This is like a dilemma, right? You don't want to, you know, if you attack, you know, you're giving something away because this is the the character of football, which is maybe also wrong a bit. This is because uh, attackers have some some disadvantages, but that's a different story. So anyway, it's it's just one <clears throat> three point rules go away. It's worth nothing other than it's, it's, it's making it worse, right? As I explained right now. So if you want more action, if you want more goals, think of something different. And what I say is apply the rules, but that's also not belonging here. So um, I'm, I'm going to check in time and we're, over th uh, we're through already. So uh, thank you for watching 21 minutes. I'm happy. Uh, well, I hope you come back, hope you enjoy, hope you like, and see you again. Bye-bye.